A Spokane Valley man is in jail tonight for threatening to blow up his repossessed car. The man's wife says the threat was a reaction to government bailouts helping car giants and not him. KXLY4 is Eric Loney, live at Dishman Dodge in Spokane Valley where that threat was made. Eric? Yeah, Damian Donegan is the suspect's name. His wife told us the economy finally got to her husband and he snapped yesterday. She says a string of bad luck pushed him over the edge, led him here to Dishman Dodge, and now it's landed him in jail. I, mean, I need to get back to my job because I, I can't lose that. Damian Dunnigan asked the judge to let him out of jail. My wife's unemployed right now, and I'm the only support of it can. His wife, Leah, who sat in court today, says financial stress forced her husband to leave their car at Dishman Dodge yesterday with a note on it that said there was a bomb inside. I mean, with everything that's been going on and everything he's had to deal with, this was just the final straw. Dunnigan says her husband snapped. She recently lost her job. They'll soon lose their house because the landlord wants to move back in. And yesterday, Chrysler came to repossess their car. Dunnigan says they leased this Dodge Caliber the past three years with the promise they could buy it. They made all the payments, about $11,000, but when it was time to buy, Chrysler Financial told Dunnigan it wouldn't give him a loan because his credit was too poor. He was hurt and he felt like he was stepped on. So yesterday, Dunnigan dropped off the car at the closest Chrysler dealership with a bomb threat. The bomb squad shattered the window and determined there was no bomb. Sheriff's deputies arrested Dunnigan a short time later. I do kind of have a problem with getting a little upset and frustrated with things and not knowing how to handle them at the time and I handled things wrong. Um, I believe I shouldn't have done that and uh, I'm just asking for the mercy of the court. Dunnigan is now a suspected criminal but his wife says they're the victims of the financial crisis. We just want the government to, to wake up and all these big companies are getting getting bailed out but us little people we don't get anything for it. The judge set Don, uh, Dunnigan's bail at $5,000. His wife is now trying to raise that money to get him out of jail so he can keep his job. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.